Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or Buy Me A Coffee. Links in the description below. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials N6. The topic of this tutorial is Fixed Cylinders, Example 2.4. Let's get straight into it. Now, Example 2.4 is actually a continuation of Example 2.3. So you need all these values, every single one of these values, and the graphs. The question states, take the information from Example 2.3 and calculate the shrinkage allowance for the cylinder by using the information on the shrinkage graph, and the resultant graph, take E as 200 gigapascals. Okay, so our formulas will be thus. Our formulas are, so for shrinkage allowance on the shrinkage graph, we have shrinkage on D. Minus equals DC all over E times H one minus H two. Okay. So that's our formula. Now, what we need to do, now, at, now this is, this D is your common D. So the common D is 180. So we have to say DE DC over E. Multiplies by, now this is H1, so this will be our hoop stress 1. So it's our hoop stress. So it's hoop stress. So if we look at our 180 for hoop stress, this is the first one we worked out. And then for the 180, the second hoop stress. So it's these two here that we need to use. So that's 37,82 minus minus 48,21. All of these are in gigapascal or in megapascals. So, now what we have to do is say 0, 0,18 over 200 times 10 to the 9. Because that's gigapascals. Times 37, 82 times 10 to the 6. Plus. 48 comma 21 times 10 to the 6. Now, what we need to do is put this in the calculator and we get 0 comma 0 7 4 4 millimeters. Now, what this is stating is this is how much shrinkage happened on our shaft on our between our two between our two cylinders that's how much shrinkage happened between our two cylinders so between here and the internal pressure so shrinkage 
and our final graph and our resultant. So next, we will do the exact same thing, except use the resultant graph for our resultant forces. So, now we will use the exact same graph for resultant. And you will see we'll get the exact same answer. So, this is, this is 180, so hoop stress is 22,28, and our hoop stress on the outer is minus 108,31. Yeah. So, what we have is DC over E multiplied by the stress of hoop 1 minus the stress of hoop 2. That is our formula that we are following. So, DC is 0, 0,18 over 200 times 10 to the 9. Multiplied by H H1. So that is this one, the resultant of the inner. It's 22, 2,8 minus minus 108,31 and this is all mega times 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 6 don't forget that both is times 10 to the 6 Okay, you've got to add that in. You can't just add it straight. And our answer is 0, 0,0744 millimeters. So you can do it with your shrinkage graph, or you can do it with your resultant graph. You will end up, you can do it with either or graph. You can do it with your shrinkage graph, or you can do it with your resultant graph your answer invariably will be exactly the same. And that is it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.